Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today I will introduce you to the random work algorithm, classical versus quantum. I will do that with a simple one dimensional example. So let's start with the classical random work. A uh, random work is a process of moving to a random variable. In this one case, we have a one dimensional coordinate axis and uh, autumn starting at the origin. We add the randomness with a coin flap process. So we flap the coin. If we got the height, the autumn will uh, move right by one scale. And uh, if we got the tail, the autumn will move left by one. It's really simple. <clears throat> and now let's look at the performance of the classical random work. Note that this process is just form a binomial distribution. So after n steps, the position of the autumn, uh, which is x, is equal to some uh, i, some x i or i. So here the capital x i is equal to minus one or plus one is corresponding to move left or move right. And after n steps, the probability that the atom and up and x uh, has this uh, form. So uh, if x plus n mod 2 is 0. So <clears throat> if x plus n mod 2 is not equal to 0, this probability is just equal to 0. So remember that we do a discrete work. So uh, the little x, the position, will always be an integer, positive or negative. And then we will see that the expectation of x is just zero, and the expectation of x square, also it's the variance of this distribution, is equal to n. So finally, we get the answer that the standard deviation is proportional to square root of n. We know that the standard deviation is a measure of how spread out numbers are. So. Here, we can use it to describe how fast the item moves. Now, let's look at the quantum case. In the quantum run work, we also have two steps. Step one, uh, flap a coin, and step two, uh, moving according to the result of coin tosses. Now, let's look at step one. In quantum system, we indeed have such coin step operator, it's just the hard mark gates, like here. Why this works? Let's start with such a spin states. It got 15% probability to be zero and 50% probability to be one. And after acting the hard mark gate once, we still get a state that one half to be zero and one half probability to be one. So we can call the hard mark gate and the hard mark coin. Now let's look at the four progress. We start from a product states. This states describe both the spin and position. We first apply the hard mark coin flap operator. And then we apply the S operator. Here in this S operator, if the spin states is zero, the item will move left by one. And if the spin state is one, the item move right by one. And then we just repeat C and S operators for a time to get the run work. So such a progress can be simulated with Q-tip in Jupyter Notebook. And I will just skip the details. You can find anything in this notebook, including the simulation of classic run work. Now let's look at the performance of quantum random work. We already know that the standard deviation of classical case is proportional to square root of n. And with the simulation, we will find that in the quantum case, the standard deviation is proportional just to the n. So in this 1D case, uh, the quantum algorithm will give us a polynomial speed up. Now let's look at the quantum advantage. 
uh, in in this simple simple one D case, the quantum random work just give us a polynomial spin up. But in other case, like a uh, quantum random work on graphs, uh, the quantum algorithm uh, have a uh, exponentially speed up. So. Yeah, the random work is widely used in the case that we uh, need to simulation natural phenomena. I will give you two examples. One is in physics, we can use the uh, random work to model the mm, Brownian motion. Another one sounds really interesting. In computer science, we can uh, use the random work to estimate the size of the warp. So if we can use the power of the quantum random work, we can perform some impossible simulations, which is uh, really useful for researchers. We can expect it to bring us more technology upgrades. Finally, I will mention that there are many challenges that when we want to realize the quantum run work. One crucial is how to implement a commercial quantum computer. So far, we still can't get a definite date. I hope researchers make more effort and realize this dream in the visible future. Thank you for listening.